Welcome to the Rewind Podcast. Today I'm going to be doing a review of the 8 Sleep Pod 4. Uh, I work with a lot of our clients and a lot of our clients uh, have problems with sleeping. I used to have problems with sleeping as well and I noticed that I uh, had dramatically better sleep once I purchased the uh, 8 Sleep Pod 3 and today I'm going to be filming a sort of review setup or this is the initial stages of the review for the pod 4 and then once I've slept uh, with the uh, pod 4 for I don't know a month or so I'll give my feedback on it but I'm really excited and so I'm just gonna uh, start unboxing first I'm gonna have to take the bed apart uh, remove the uh, pod 3 I'll do a little comparison and then uh, and then I'll actually set the pod 4 up so uh, here we go. Uh, let's get rid of all of these. As you can see, the bed was nicely made up. Here we go. These. This is the pod. As you can see, they wrap it up pretty pretty good one box undone and here we go we have the pod 4 tower This is the uh, this is the old Pod Three. So uh, on the Pod Three, uh, I'll swing it around. You had the uh, water attachment right here. Uh, this hooked into that. You had these little links, and now it's unattached. Let's get it get rid of that cord. And we can compare these side by side. As we can see, the uh, Pod 4 is clearly bigger. Looks like there's one fan here. Uh, looks like there are two fans here. And then those are the hoses in and out, power plug, and a little USB connector. Looks way more convenient in terms of plugging in. In this one, the plug sort of attached vertically. And then we can see that just the size differential uh, looks to be, you know, decently significant. Uh, this one looks much taller. And let's take a look at the front. We're not buying these obviously for visual attractiveness. But I would say that this is an upgrade visually. And from what I've read on the internet, this is supposed to have uh, less noise, uh, which is positive. The uh, Pod 3, I would say that the Pod 3 is decently quiet. Um, if you don't mind a little bit of white noise, it's okay. If uh, white noise is an issue, you can hear the fan sometimes, but uh, it's not too bad. But I've heard that the new system is much better in terms of a uh, noise. Uh, this one, well, hold on a second. So this is a water tank. It's obviously full. And so this is the uh, water and hydrogen peroxide mix that you actually run through the bed that keeps it cool. So now that we've done a little comparison, you can see uh, this one is supposed to have a much higher cooling capacity, which is great. I would say that in general, this did dramatically help my sleep. But one of the uh, issues that I had, or, you know, one of the things that I would have improved would have been a little bit more uh, consistent uh, cooling. Uh, but it still actually was uh, very, very helpful in terms of keeping the bed in the bedroom uh, much cooler. I live in Miami, 
and you know you have to crank up the AC so this is a significant booster in terms of uh, making the bedroom and the bed cooler and then I live in a unfortunately I live in a condo where the master bedroom happens to be the hottest place in the room so I really have to crank up the AC unit and uh, here's the benefit I'll give a shout out to 8 sleep I was able to, in general, keep the unit three degrees warmer uh, than I have to keep it without the eight sleep. So big, uh, big shout out to them in terms of their product really does help cool the room down. So I'm just going to move this one out of the way. We'll get rid of that. Whoa. And we'll position this one over into the side where it is going to be stationed. Wish I had my reading glasses on. I'd be able to see a little better, but I don't have those with me right now. There we go, and boom, not too bad. This is a shout out to my mom. She gave me these uh, really cool knives, three different colors, keep them all over the house, really sharp. I think it's a Swedish brand, and I use them all the time. So mom, thank you, and I love you. One of the coolest gifts ever, probably 20 years ago. Now the, the cover will just dump out. And there we go. We'll get rid of this box too. Get that out of there. This is a pretty nice little travel bag. Eight sleep, a shout out to you guys. I don't know if you are meaning this for storage or to use, but uh, this thing looks like it's pretty sturdy and it would be great to uh, lug some stuff around. And get rid of some garbage. Boom. So now look at this. There is even a little container in here excellent very simple instructions well i'm taking it to all cameras not sure what cut i'm going to use remove and dispose remove and dispose there we go removing that and disposing it now if you take a look at this versus the other one looks really similar I would say they've done a nice job of just upgrading the material. Seems really pretty nice on this one. I'm just gonna set this off to the side over here in my massage chair, which I will tell you, everyone, the massage chair is excellent. And Highly, highly, highly recommended. Uh, this is uh, Infinity. I got that from Costco. It's not, uh, it's actually pretty expensive, but well worth it. I use it a couple times a week after my workouts. I think it really does a great job of sort of relaxing. I have a nightly routine where I usually take a quick shower, do a quick massage, and it is amazing. So now let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the, Eight sleep and here we go by the way how clever is that I just want to point this out it's great top left corner they have it down to a science. Very impressive in terms of ease of use.
there we go. The cover is now pretty much in place. And there we go. All installed. So as you guys can see, I'm not sure how much time that took, but it's not too complicated, especially if someone were it. Now you can see I did this all by myself. So of course, if you had someone to help you, it'd be much easier. Unfortunately, I don't have that at the moment. Now we have a power cord. Now it's all plugged in. And then this is the final step, which, let me see. Looks like we just go ahead, plug that in, and plug that part in. And it looks like we are ready to roll. There we go. Now we're gonna go try and set this puppy up. And let's see, go into my eight sleep app. You will have to turn on the temperature manually tonight or set a bedtime. Dismiss. Okay, let me just do one thing. I'm gonna screen record this. Oh. Here we go. So let's go into the account. I close the app. This will take a minute. So there we go. We are finally to the select your Wi-Fi. There is my Wi-Fi. After a brief break, we are now back. We're connected. We are going to set up the rest of the uh, bed. So Open the box cover, all the stuff, unfold this. It's giving step-by-step -step directions. Check the water cords to make sure that they are not mixed up. They look pretty good. Continue introducing the mainline filter. Continue. Route the cord, continue, connect to the hub, finish, start. In this step, we will circulate water through the pod to enable. So now we have to remove the water tank. Whoop, that was pretty good actually. Remove the water tank, yes, continue. Fill the tank with water. So I will be right back, leaving with the tank empty, and I will return with the tank full. And so we have returned, put a little extra water over there. Just gonna bring this into the main camera. We can see that it's filled to the fill line Got to put this back on. There we go. Drop this in. Start this up. Continue, insert the tank. It is uh, now checking for the, uh, checking for the inserted tank. Continue. Well, then I'm going to do a little screen record here. A little 
let's see if I can do the screen record. Screen record. There we go. Okay. So here we go. We'll let you know when your pod is ready. So now I guess it's circulating water throughout the tank. And it looks like it's going to take about 2 minutes and 43 seconds. So we won't. I'll probably be cutting this out of the video. But uh, this will give you a good idea of how long it takes. And there we go. Uh-oh, your tank is empty. So we need to refill the tank. All right. Look at that. I will be back again. Alrighty, here we go again. This is number two, number two. Drop that in, fits right in. Continue, continue, continue. Insert the tank, tank fold, and here we go. So here we go again. This is the third tank. We're going to drop this in. You can see I'm trying to put the bed back together. Uh, continue, remove the tank of water. Yes, yes. Fill the tank, insert the tank, continue. And now it tells me it's going to take 10 more minutes. We are putting the bed back together quickly. And look at that, the bed is actually uh, done. I'll, I'll press the, the tape, I will do a little pause here and we'll come back once the app is complete. Uh, believe it or not, I think that this is a saver of electricity uh, because you don't need to use as much air conditioning when you're, uh, you know, when you're using this, which is fantastic. So there you go. Wait, hold on. Oh. Finish. I don't know if it's going to be able to capture this. Finish. Now it says start. Meet autopilot. Get better sleep automatic. Autopilot adjusts your temperature and elevation. There we go. My autopilot is complete. Continue. It looks like everything is finally complete. Uh, went through the entire app. And it looks like we're all set to go. So I will be posting this video, obviously, uh, for this initial setup process. And then I will also be evaluating and putting out a review. It may just be one huge video with everything in it. So uh, we'll, we'll catch you later.